Howdy all, I'm Adam, the Renaissance Nerd. Listen up. <clears throat> We've been told for a long time, by we I mean myself, other YouTubers, you, the actual fans, the actual passionate ones who care about everything we love. We've been told we're not important. We've been told we're the minority. We've been told nobody listens to us. Just, just, just go back in your corner, you incel. Go back and talk into your, to your, to your little echo chamber. You know that we've been told all that that we're insignificant. If we're so insignificant, if we don't move the needle at all with people, then how come giant corporations had to create bot armies to deal with us? It's a question. This was a couple days ago. I wasn't going to talk about it necessarily because it was just, hey, report what's the ramifications. But it's kind of gotten a little bit bigger than that. A couple days ago, we got the report that HBO and Max CEO Casey Bloys got so angry at critics. And by critics, we mean everybody. People who said this is bad on Twitter, people who say this is bad on YouTube, across social media, got so mad that he used his power, his influence, his money as CEO of HBO Max to hire a bot army. Well, it's a bot army in case you're unfamiliar with that. That means fake accounts to reply to shit, to make it look like something is gaining more traction than it actually is. So he did that to counteract basically what people were saying were true. Something sucks. Something isn't good. We don't like it like this. Why are you doing this? This is wrong. Wrong way. You know, the, the, the standard stuff we all say. <laughs> Dance, puppets. Dance. <laughs> Created a bot army. Got busted on it this week. And here's the thing. If we are so insignificant, how come powerful corporate entities have to do something like this? How come? Yesterday night, it was the evening, late in the evening, Gina Carano weighed in on this. Gina Carano has been basically <laughs> leveling uppercuts, knee thrusts, elbow jabs, anything you can name under the sun right now for two weeks when it comes to all the stuff, ever since Pandaverse, she has been unleashed and just wreaking havoc. Obviously not giving two silly shits about whatever the repercussions may be concerning her. She doesn't care, and that's the funny thing. First, she laid into Kathleen Kennedy. Then she recently laid into the strike in Rachel Zegler. Little shots here and there at other stuff, and now today, or last night, she reminds us that HBO Max isn't alone. Disney did it too. She says in this story, we're not going to read the whole thing. We're not here to do that. It's very long. In a, in, in a nutshell, Gina tells us when she got unjustly fired, she told them, people are coming after me. These aren't real accounts of that. Well, apparently they already knew that because they're the ones that created the accounts. Why? purchase a piece of social media she said that disney wanted to get x twitter they decided not to because they realized why purchase a piece of social media when you can just take advantage of it for a fraction of the cost create a bot army to do your dirty work to cancel people to try and change the narrative focus away from truth facts and logic to a smear campaign to get people out of the way that are inconvenient to your messaging, to your ideology, to the things you want to push and promote. Cry havoc and let's slip the dogs of war. If we are so insignificant, if Gina Carano is so insignificant at that time, now Gina Carano is a very big, you know, let's just say internet folk hero. If we are so unimportant, then how come you all do this. You know what the answer is? Corporations are afraid of us. They're afraid of the fans because they remember, they remember going back all the way to the olden days that we, the fans, are the lifeblood of everything. 
We control whether something lives or dies. Why do you think they have spent so much time trying to cultivate the stand base, the consumer, the one that will just go, yeah, take it, the ones that will just suck it all down and not complain? Why do you think they've worked so hard? Because those people are a hive mind NPC robot that will just do whatever they tell them to. They don't really want us to fan anymore, despite the fact that we have all the money. We have the ability to actually move the needle when it comes to buying merch, spreading the good word, getting people involved, getting people excited. They don't want that because we're uncontrollable because at the drop of a hat, we could change our mind if we don't like something. And then people will listen to us. And then suddenly, your campaign to make Ahsoka the greatest Disney Star Wars TV show ever, your campaign to make Reva important, falls flat. Because we reject it. In the stands, they are the true minority. We are not the minority. We are the fans. As I said, we are that lifeblood. We are the thing that pumps through the heart of a franchise that makes it walk, talk, and be as awesome as we have always loved it to be. That's what they're afraid of. That is why giant corporations will use X Twitter as a bot army to try and shift an arrow to make it look like there's excitement for something when it factors and that's why and i'm gonna say it not gonna like it that's why youtube will punish small creators before we get off the ground so that we don't become the larger channels that everybody will pay attention to they don't like us because they fear us they will use any means necessary to keep the actual passion of a fan in check, gate kept out because they know we matter. So that is the truth of it all. We matter so much. We push their buttons so much that they will do anything possible to change the narrative that we are pushing. The truth, the facts, the logic, the actual story going on out there. And what does it get you? What is all this effort done by HBO Max, done by Disney, done by insert other giant corporation who has destroyed something we love? What does it get you, all this effort? Nothing. You know why? Very simple answer. Because everything you're doing was effed from the start. And us calling out the truth of it, you didn't want to hear it. Because then you would have realized you're wasting your money. And your ideology is failing. And here we are. The revelations that MCU is in chaos. The evidence that Disney Star Wars has failed. Everything on every other streaming service generally fails. Nobody watches Rings of Power. Nobody watches Wheel of Time. Paramount Plus. Paramount, who recently said, we're going to double trip them down on DEI. Nobody watched Halo. Only thing people watched on Paramount Plus was Tulsa King. And that's not sci-fi fantasy. That's, that's Sylvester Stallone carrying the show. You understand? They are afraid of us. That's why they do this. That's why they say we don't matter. Because they want to pretend. They want to create the fantasy, fake, false news narrative. That we don't matter. So why are we paying? We're not going to pay attention to these, these internet trolls. But they do care. And they've done everything possible to divert attention away from us because the normies, the regular fans, the newbie fans, they will listen to what we have to say because they sense when something is organic as opposed to astroturf, false, fake, created by a corporation. We're winning. This is proof. They care about us. They don't want us to... They don't, they don't want the bigger channels to get bigger, and they don't want the smaller voices like myself to grow. So they will stop us. They will shadow ban. They will divert attention away from us on social media. They will push our narratives aside and try to replace them with fake excitement. They will do everything under the sun to save it, but it doesn't matter because in the end, it all failed anyway. 
and it will continue to fail, and we will be proven right as we are every single day. Join me. Join everybody. Watch all this burn. Tell the truth. Use the facts. Use your logic. And you will always win the argument. All right, I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. If you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube. I hope to earn your trust and support using facts and logic. Because facts and logic do not care about whiny stand, SJW, and fake fan fifis. Hit the notification button to my videos. You like I'm preaching by all means. Leave a comment. Love to hear from real passionate fans like you who are the lifeblood of everything. I care what you think. I do not care what the fake fan stands and SJWs have to say because 201, they're all cowards behind keyboards and they just do the dirty work for corporations. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you'd like to reach out to me, please email me at therandnerd at gmail.com for all channel business purposes. I am on Twitter now mostly for promotion and sharing of videos, maybe a little shit stirring here and there, who knows, at the Ren Nerd. You can also find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at Roas, and you can see me on Rumble and Odyssey under the Renaissance Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.